Okay, uh, common mistake number two is resting in the wrong position. Um, a lot of times, fatigue is going to settle in during a training session or even a competition match. And th there's no such thing as getting so much cardio that you're going to be able to avoid these situations. But what you have to make sure is that you're not stopping and resting in the wrong place. There are good positions to, wrong, to, to rest in, and then there are horrible positions to rest in, top and bottom. So we're going to cover those. The first two on, on the top position on your back is the guard. Okay? This is probably the worst position, and this is where people get caught in a lot of submissions because they figure once they make it back here, they're going to just lay down here and catch their breath until they get going again. This is not the position to rest. You may be able to restrain your partner for a moment, particularly early in the match when you have a lot more of your strength and, you, and you're feeling pretty good. Go ahead and move from me, Ryan. See, it's, it's, a, it's easier for me to hold them down now, but once the match goes on and you're a little tired, go ahead, and all of a sudden, this is how you're going to react. It's just not going to be that easy. And if that person's in better shape than you, it's going to be a, a it's going to be a whole, a whole lot easier for them to just to get you in a sweep or submission or just make you so miserable that maybe you just quit on yourself mentally. Okay. The second position from here that's the wrong place to rest is when you go here uh, and you're doing open guard work, whether you're down or your knees are standing up, because if he sits up and grab something and he starts pushing me with my knees and pushing my hips out. If I'm sitting here resting, it's just a matter of time before I lose the position and then I end up getting reversed. So, lay back down here. So whenever I'm in the guard, my mindset should be I need to get to the side. I don't start resting until I get to the side. So move around a little bit. We're here, and if I'm tired, keep my posture up. If the legs get open, it's here. And I don't, I don't start resting until I get here. Now I can sit here at this point and, and you know, hyperventilate and act like you know, I need some oxygen from the sideline. Because now from here, I can put my weight down, slow him down, and, and force him to do all the work. 